To create a clock wheel, go up to Config, select Playlist Rotation Rules, and down at the bottom here where it says Playlist Logic Modules, make sure that the clock wheel category rotation module version 2.0.0 is selected. You click on Config, and by default, Sam Broadcaster has a category logic rotation clock wheel created for you, but we're not going to use that. So let's select all that and then delete it. Your next step is to click on the category plus symbol here. Then you want to double click on the content star, expand music, and highlight your first category, in my case, smooth jazz. Then over here, make sure that enforce playlist rotation rules button is checked and that the weighted radio button is checked, then click OK. And it plays your first clock wheel in here. Then, I'm going to place your cursor over here and do a space, and we're going to create another one. We'll click the category button, and we'll click the content button and expand music, highlight smooth jazz again. Then we'll click the random radio button, then click OK. That places this in here. Place your cursor over here, hit the Enter key, we're going to create another one. Click the Category button, double click on the star, expand music, select your Smooth Jazz Music Directory. Then we're going to select the most recently played song, and it places this in here. Put your cursor over to the right, hit the Enter key, and we'll create our last clock wheel. Click Category, double click on the Content button, expand music. I'll let you smooth jazz category folder and we're going to select the least recently played artist then click OK. So now we have four clock wheels in here for the smooth jazz category. What I normally do here is that I'll highlight this and I'll do a control C for Windows then I'll copy that because I'm going to use it again. Up here I normally change that to a 0 0.5 and I'll make this 5. Just works well for me. Then I'll do a save then I'll give this a name and I'll call this Smooth Jazz and I'm gonna place that on my desktop. I can put it anywhere but just to be organized I'll create a new folder and I'll call this Clock Wheels. In fact Sam Broadcaster has a Clock Wheel directory but I'll create my own here Smooth Jazz. Alright it's all there and click OK. Alright, I have a clock wheel created and I know where it's at. So I can click OK here. Now let's go back in to our event scheduler. Click the plus symbol and we'll call this Smooth Jazz from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. So I'll highlight that and I'll just paste it right in there. So I'll know. I'll take on the recurring event button. I want this to run every day. And the time is going to be 5.45 a.m. Remember I had three songs in the queue and then I'll click add. Now over here where it says action, I'm going to make sure that the load clock wheel radio button is checked. And then I'm going to load the rotation script that I just created. So I'll click on this and there's my clock wheel right there. This is the extension that you're going to see, CWF. So I'll select that and click open, then click OK. And so what I've done now, I've loaded the clock wheel into the event here, the event scheduler. And this is going to run only for the songs in this category. Now let me show you something. Notice here under our categories that this is named Smooth Jazz. Smooth Space Jazz. So going back into Config and doing the Playlist Rotation Rules and clicking on the Config button here, what you see within this quotation right here has to be the exact same thing that you see over here. That name what you see there in the green has to be the same. If it is not, then your clock wheels will not work. So let's create our next clock wheel. And the next one that we'll create will be for our category of Indie. Click on the Config button. And then all I have to do is simply come in here and change what I see within the green there from Smooth Jazz to Indie on each one of these. And if you're using a PC, you just copy and do a Control V. And that copies in new word. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is that I don't have to click on this again to create each one of these clock wheels. So now that I have that one, I do save and I'll call this one Indie and place it in my clock wheels directory and click save. 
big band. I did not create a big band directory over here, so I'll do one here called uh, the Smooth Jazz Top 20 Countdown, so I'll highlight that. And over here, I know that that's what it reads, so I'll copy and paste that in here. Then click Save, and I'll call this the Countdown, and Save. Now, and click OK here. Now I can go back to my event scheduler and import all those clock wheels for these categories. Now I created one for Indy, so I'll go, I'll select Indy, then click the plus symbol here and give this an event name. And, and again, that event name, I keep it all organized, so I'll call this one Indy. In fact, like I showed you, I'll just copy and paste what I have on my schedule here on my notepad, like that. Because I know that what's in this directory here is going to run from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. This is also a recurring event. I want to run every day. And I know this is going to run from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. And remember the 15 minute rule with the three songs in the queue. So we're going to change this to 8.45 a.m. And we'll click Add. And I should have a clock wheel created for Indy. So I will go and navigate to the directory and there it is I'll select it and click open and then do a OK so here it is so now that's there let's do one more I did one for quiet storm so let's select that one click the event scheduler plus symbol and that will be a recurring event and that starts at 7 p.m. And again, these are just examples. You'll have more than this in yours. And again, the three songs in the queue rule. So I'll make this 6.45 p.m. And click Add. And navigate to the location of the event that I created for it. And select that and click Open. And then click OK. So it's there. All right. So everything is there that I'm using in this example, but of course if you have over here all these events, I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then you should have eight categories here and eight events over here. Now in this example I made a mistake and I'll fix it. I didn't create one for big band. So it's simple. I'll just come over here. Go to music, add new, and paste in there. And now I have it for big band. And so again, you will want to create an event for each of these. If I've got eight categories, I should have eight events over here. Now, before I move on, let me show you something. Your clock wheels. Let's go in and take a look at them. When you create your clock wheels, you want to make sure that what you put inside of this right here is exactly what your category names are. If you happen to have a space right here like that and your category name doesn't have a space on it, it's not going to work. So the way you do that is make sure that none of your names over here have spaces. Let me show you that. So if I go over here, if you don't highlight any of these, for example, I, I don't know if there's a space before or after there, and you're not going to see it until you highlight it. So I know there's no spaces before and after. That one's OK. That's OK. That's OK. This is all right. That's OK. That's OK. And that's OK. If you find that your clock wheels are not working, the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you don't have any leading or trailing spaces in your category names. And you want to double check under your playlist rotation rules going into the config that what you see here there aren't any spaces before and after everything must be clean Sam Broadcaster is particular about things like that so over here under the event scheduler you can see the importance of placing your times on your events when you name them because I can visually see here what times these are running something else you should also know let's say when your clock wheels are running you can actually go into config let's say if uh, we get to the section where Indy is running say smooth jazz has already run its course the next event is Indy you can actually go into config and click on the playlist rotation rules click
click on config button here and see what's loaded up. So if Indy is currently running, this in here should be saying Indy and not Quiet Storm. Also notice here that in the event scheduler, if I click on a clock wheel, notice over here that we don't have an end time. Well, the reason why we don't have an end time is because you don't need an end time. When this runs, say for example from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., then the next one will run at 8.45 a.m. and so forth. So you don't need an end time when you create your clock wheels. Now, what about my station IDs? When these clock wheels run their course, let's say for example when Smooth Jazz runs from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. and loads up all the songs in the Smooth Jazz folder here. Now let's go in and take a look at the Smooth Jazz clock wheel for example. I want you to understand something so I'm going to go up to config playlist rotation rules and go back into config and the reason why you see all four of these is because when the songs in the smooth jazz category are loaded up they will be loaded up say for example at the bottom of the queue randomly it will play the most recently played artist and the uh, least played song and by doing that you will ensure that the songs that load up in the smooth jazz category won't be the same song or you'll have the event where you have two songs playing back to back. This ensures that each and every song within that time frame will be a different song. Cancel out of this. So now that I have my clock wheels set for the particular categories here, I want to now set up some station IDs or commercials. And you set up your station IDs and commercials the same way. So in this example, I want my station IDs to play once at the top of the hour. No matter what clock wheel is running, at the top of the hour, I want my listeners to hear, say, a RIP radio. You know, for example, you listen to RIP radio, smooth jazz. So we need to create an event for that. And top of the hour. So all my station IDs are in the top of the hour directory. So I want to create an event for my station IDs. So I'll click on the add a new event. And I'll call this... Uh, station IDs and I want my station IDs to run 55 after the hour. So I'm going to put a 55 there and that's for my reference. It will be a recurring event. It will be every day. Now this is going to get tricky because I said that I want my station IDs to run at the top of the hour or at 55 minutes after the hour and so I'm going to make this 12 55 00, 0 a.m. and I'm going to add it here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to this one and hit my up arrow and change that to 1 and click add. Hit my arrow again, add, up arrow again, add, up arrow, add. See what I'm doing? Up arrow again, add, up arrow, add, up arrow, add, and do this right to where I get to 11.55 p.m. because we already have 12.55 a.m. So what this does is covers the entire 24 hours. Since this is a commercial or this is a station IDs rather, we're going to pull from a category. We're finished with the clock wheels now. So I'm going to select add files to queue and then I'm going to pull from a category, so I'll click on the category button here. Navigate to content. Go down to my station ID, expand that window. Then click on top of the hour. Recall that's where I place all of my station IDs. I'll select that. Then what I'll do is I'll untick this button here that says enforce playlist rotation rules. And I'll select the one down here that says least recently played artist. And According to Sam Broadcaster, what this does, it will play sequentially the station IDs as they appear here. Station ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. Then click OK. By default, Sam Broadcaster puts this queue to the bottom. Well, we don't want this to be queue to the bottom. We want this to be to the top. So we're going to change this part that says bottom to top. So highlight that part that says bottom and we change that to the top then click OK. 
to Q top. So what's going to happen here is that no matter what category is playing, whether it's smooth jazz or the quiet storm or whatever, at the top of the hour or at uh, 55 minutes after the hour, a station ID will play. Now, if there's a song currently playing and say the clock gets to 55 after an hour, the station ID is not going to interrupt the song and play it. It's going to wait until the song finishes, then the station ID will play. Click OK. We're done. Now, let's have some more fun with uh, this. Let's say that uh, during your a stream uh, or a show that you're running, a caller calls in during a commercial and telling you how much they love your radio station and you're recording uh, those call-ins. Well, you can actually add those in here as an event to play. And let me show you how to do that. I'm going to double click on my station IDs here and we'll go under station IDs and we have listener call-ins. So we'll select that. And over here, we want to make sure that the Enforce Playlist Rotation Rules button is checked. And the reason why is that uh, you don't want your rotation to play the same caller. So you want to enforce the Playlist Rotation Rules. And then we'll select uh, Least Recently Played Artist. And again, this and this ensures that the same recording is in play. And we'll click OK. And as you can see here, it places that here category is listener call-ins and we want to again change this where it says Q top we'll change Q bottom to Q top and make sure that that cap that T is a capital T then we'll click OK so I want to add my smooth jazz top 20 countdown in the event schedule and have it run this one file every day at 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. so to do that I'll click on the plus symbol on the event scheduler and I'll give it a name it's the Smooth Jazz Top 20 Countdown. It is going to be a recurring event and it's going to begin at 4.45 p.m. every day. Remember the three song rule in the queue. I'm going to add that. But this is not going to be a clock wheel. I'm going to run this as a file. So I'm going to select Add Files to the Queue, click Category, expand on the content icon there, expand on music, and there's the Smooth Jazz Top 20 Countdown, so I'll select that. And since this is just one file in here, uh, I don't care about anything over here. So we can leave everything over here at its default, then click OK, then click OK again. So what's going to happen here is that within the time frame of 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., the RIP Radio Smooth Jazz Top 20 Countdown with Ronnie J will run each and every day and there will be no station IDs interrupting the program because I didn't create this as a clock wheel, I created this as a, a queue. So Sam Broadcaster is going to look at what's inside this directory and run it. Ah, I almost forgot. Just double click on this. But again, you want to change this queue bottom to queue top and click OK. So this is basically all you have to do as far as uh, automating your station using the event scheduler. All this could easily be done with Power Scripts as well, uh, but this is what most people do because it's the easiest way of doing it. A lot of people aren't into uh, scripting. I am, so it's easy for me and maybe not so much easy for you. But this is how you would automate your station, especially if it's a multi-format station. If you're just running one genre of music, you might just have one directory or category you load up all your music into that category. You may create a, a station ID category and set your events as to when you want your uh, station IDs to run and your commercials or jingles to run. This is Ronnie J from InternetRadioStation.com. Thank you for listening.